Hello, so welcome to another series of Cooking with Chef Guy, I should say, rather under the programme. And today I'm going to show you how to make a French bread pizza. Very simple, it's very quick as well. And a lot of my students have done this with me before. It's one of the things I always start off doing in year seven. We move on then to making our own pizzas from our own dough. But this is a really quick one to do. And the good thing about a pizza is you're in charge of the ingredients you actually want to put on top of it. And everyone has their own favorites. I'll go through some of the toppings that are quite common. So I particularly like a seafood pizza, so I might put some tuna on mine. There's a can of tuna in there. I also might put some anchovies on. I like anchovies, maybe a few black olives. Okay, on this plate here we've got pepper, that's nice on the pizza. I know very um, popular ingredient is pepperoni, pepperoni, that's the one isn't it? Um, mushrooms, okay, and we've got a fresh chili there as well, okay, and I also, also like on mine some crushed garlic. You'll also need um, a tomato base. If you wanted to use um, a passata and reduce that down, you could do, but a very quick one is just use uh, a bit of tomato puree, it works fine. And what you'll need as well, you could use a French stick, which has already been fully cooked. I prefer to buy these part-bake um, French sticks because they don't go quite as crisp as if you're just using a fully baked French stick. And they are really cheap, okay? And don't forget, you'll only need half of one per person. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just cut this in half. So you're not going to be using your chef's knife, which is one of the knives you use most of the time, 80-90% of the time. When you're cutting bread, you need a bread knife. And if you remember, it's got the little teeth on it, the zigzag serrated teeth. So all you do, get your French stick, and you're going to cut it in half as best you can. So make the bridge, okay, and just start sawing through. Look at that, that was easy, wasn't it? Okay, put the knife down. You've now got two halves of your French stick. First job is to put your tomato base on. So, spoon. Some tomato puree on there. Get your spoon and just smooth it on the top. So, I'm gonna finish this one off and do that one, be back in a moment. One minute, 37 seconds later. So, I'm going to do one vegetarian pizza and one meat one. So, hopefully everyone will be happy. And actually, um, you could make that vegan just by putting some vegan cheese on rather than the mozzarella, which we're going to put on both of them. Okay, so students, yeah? Remember, I want you to dice some pepper. How do you do that? Yes, you should have remembered the, war, the claw of Wolverine. So what I'm going to do, make the bridge, I'm going to cut a bit of pepper off there. Okay, there's no in a bit there, so that's fine. I'm going to make a claw. So if I turn it that way, you don't want to cut all the way through. Go near the end. And there we are. Frighten you on a dark night, wouldn't it? See the claw there, okay? And then you make your own claw on top of it. There we go. And you just slice down, and you're getting little pieces of diced pepper. A lot of you are getting really good with your knife skills now. I've seen some of your film you clips you sent in, so well done. Last little bit, yeah, remember you can do that as well, can't you? Okay, and use the knife as a sweeper if you want it to get finer. Yeah, that's another way of doing it as well, isn't it? Okay, so I've got some peppers there. I'm going to put pepper on both of them, a little bit of pepper on both. Sprinkle them on. There we go. Pepper on there. Right, what should I put on it now? A little bit of chilli, once again. Okay, a bit of green chilli. Be mindful of the chilli, you don't want to blow on anyone's head off. I certainly won't be putting any of those, what were they chef, um, producer? Carolina Rob, Reapers. Carolina Reapers, I won't be putting any of those Carolina Reapers on that Rob gave me. I've got to work out something to do with those. So once again, if you want a fine dice of chilli, get your chilli. Make the claw. 
and the more little bits that you claw the better. So there is the claw of chili now. Put that down. So then make your own little claw. And you really don't want big bits of chili in there because the chilies should be a nice background, sort of burnt, slight burn to it if you like chili. Okay, so what you can do is get it scooped up into a little pile and actually chop it. So there's my chili. Let's put a little bit of chili on both of those. And I'll do the vegetarian one first because I don't want anyone saying, Chef Guy, you touched the knife on some meat and you put it on the veggie one. So what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of mushroom onto both of them, I think. So what you want to do with your mushroom, look, slice that up nice and thin. Chop it up a little bit more if you want. Put a little bit of mushroom on there. There we go. Now, you could put pineapple on there, but I don't want to be strangled by Rob, who comes from the Italian background, and I don't want the authentication police to come and get me either. But if you're very quiet about it and you like pineapple, you can put some on Okay, it's up to you. There we go. So, I've done that. Garlic, let's do some garlic. So, I'm going to crush the garlic, remember? Flat knife down, flat blade. There we go. Or we need a garlic crusher. I can feel one appearing any moment now. Oh, look at that. There's the garlic crusher. It always appears when I need it. So, crush some garlic. There we go. Well, a little rule with garlic, if you're having a romantic meal, you're all right if both you had the garlic, you kiss each other then, but if one's at it, it can cause problems. But luckily everyone I know likes garlic, so a little bit of garlic on there, fresh garlic, beautiful. Better to keep the vampires away as well, isn't it? There we are. So I've got most of the stuff on the vegetarian thing there. You could put, if you want, some sweet corn. Um, you could put uh, some more mushrooms on there. You could put a little bit finely diced um, courgette if you want. Whatever you like on your vegetarian pizza, you can put on. But this one here, okay, I'm just going to, I'll use the plate here, I'm just going to cut these up. So I'm just going to put some of these on top of the meat one, be back in a minute. A few moments later. So we're nearly finished now. Yeah, a little bit of mozzarella on the top. Remember if you're vegan, this is vegan at the moment, you could you put a bit of vegan cheese on there. This is vegetarian though. You could just put grated cheddar on there if you haven't got any mozzarella. You don't have to use mozzarella, but be mindful of the authenticity police. That's the wrong one. I promise I haven't been on the show. Not yet. There we go. And to finish it off, I think some, just a nice bit of oregano on the top there, maybe. Yeah, from a height so it spreads out and a little bit of black pepper and that's ready to go into the oven now now with these you can have a problem what's that song look don't rock the boat baby don't tip the boat over and it can happen and I'll come to a cunning plan a plan i've got a cunning plan to stop it happening all you need is a bit of foil and you make a little stand for your pizzas. Oh, well, we got one of the fans outside tapping on the window. It's always welcome. So look, can you see what I've done? That's not going to go over now, roll over. Kids get very upset and so do adults when their pizzas end up in the pan rather than on top of the bread. So there we go, look, fold it over. Guys, cunning plan, stopping your boat 
from rocking and tipping over. So there we go. What I'm going to do with those now is pop them into the oven, catch you in about 10, 15 minutes. A little longer than a few minutes later. So it's been 10 minutes, let's have a look. Oh yeah, I think they're done nicely. I'll bring them out to have a look as well. Cheese is melting nicely. Haven't my anti-rock mechanism has worked, so they're there. Let's have a look at that one. Don't drop it in front of the camera, guy, will you? No. There we are. So, what do you think? I think they look quite nice. Um, one of those, I think, would be enough for someone with some salad, but if you want to do a whole one each, you can do. It's up to you. Oh, Hayden's here. Hello, Hayden. Hello, guy. Just made well, some... you made here. Yeah, so you remember those French bread pizzas we did? Yes, in year nine. Yeah. I can remember them. Yeah, eight and then... And, yeah. Eight as well, yeah. we did those. You've moved on a bit, haven't you? Yeah. We make pizza dough now. Yeah, which is good. It's nice to yeah. start for this, isn't it? And yeah. If you want to do something quicker, if you didn't want to knock up the dough and stop measuring things out, this is a really good way of doing it. So, there we are. Um, we've had some lovely uh, photos of food coming this week and um, pictures and even a little video clip. So, thank you for doing that. It makes us feel a lot better in school and when you're actually doing some of the things we set you. Um, and look after your parents, okay, because, you know, being sometimes being close together can make things very difficult look after your parents look after yourselves okay and take care so it's uh, goodbye from me goodbye from him see you soon <laughs>